Do you ever get the feeling that your ex isn't telling you the whole truth? Well, chances are you're actually right. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all the secrets that your ex is keeping and what this means for you. For those who are new here, hi, I'm Brad Browning, breakup coach and author of the X Factor program. And I'm here to help you understand your breakup and get your ex back, assuming that's what you want. Now, let's talk about why your ex might be keeping secrets from you. First off though, let me get it straight here. It's almost never malicious. You know, your ex isn't going out of their way to trick you or hurt you, at least usually. Most of the time, they're lying by omission because it's easier for them than telling the whole truth. So maybe they're, they're hiding information out of selfishness. You know, they think if you, if you knew the truth, you'd treat them differently or you'd, you'd call them out. And they, you know, understandably, they don't want to be embarrassed or feel bad about their choices. The other option is that they're, they're trying to spare your feelings. They know that if they revealed these things, it would hurt you. And they're trying to avoid that. And really, you know, these aren't great reasons to keep secrets, but they certainly are understandable. So, you know, don't be mad at your ex for most of these things. They really are only human. And if you're watching this video, you know, I'm guessing you're keeping a few secrets from your ex as well. Complete honesty really isn't always the best policy because sometimes the truth hurts. And that's all to say that you need to think carefully if you really want to know what your ex is hiding from you. There is a very good chance that getting the full picture is just going to make you sad. In my opinion, it is always best to know the truth, even if it does hurt, um, but I know that that's not for everyone, so you know, do proceed with caution. And now, let's dive into the things that your ex doesn't want you to know. We'll start with secret number one, they're not confident about the decision to break up. Now, really, just because they broke up with you doesn't mean that they're certain they've made the right decision. You know, if you've ever dumped someone, then you know what I'm talking about. You know, it's never an easy decision. And there's almost no chance that your ex is 100% confident that breaking up was the right call. You know, they may have weighed the pros and cons many times before actually breaking the news to you and decided that you know, going your separate ways is the, is the right thing to do. But that definitely doesn't mean that they're sure about that decision. You know, in 90% in of situations, your ex is going to be secretly hiding their, their own anxieties about actually breaking up. You know, was it the right decision? Will they live to regret it down the road? Will they ever be able to find somebody like you again? Simply put, your ex is going to be worried, at least on some level, that they've made the wrong choice by breaking up. Again, they won't, they won't likely admit it to you, and they may sound 100% certain that the, the breakup is final, but usually they are still internally conflicted to some extent. Now you can take my free quiz to get a better idea of how final your ex's decision to break up really is. The quiz only takes about 5 minutes, and it'll determine your chances of winning them back based on your answers. And it's completely free. So just go to breakupbrad.com slash quiz after this video is over. All right, and on to secret number two, they kept some of your stuff. Yes, there is actually a very good chance that your ex kept something of yours after the breakup, uh, even if they said they didn't. A recent survey found that two out of every three people are actually holding on to some of their ex's belongings. And more than four in 10 people admit that they have one item from a past relationship. 44% of people said they keep these items because of the fond memories attached to them, while 30% believe the item defines a specific chapter in their lives. And another 38% have a much more practical explanation for keeping their ex's stuff. It serves a purpose. Now this study found some pretty crazy things. Some people said they even keep their ex's sex toys. And of the respondents in new relationships, 37% of people confessed they intentionally try to hide their ex's old stuff from their new love. Now, there are plenty of reasons for an ex to hold on to your stuff. Maybe they're angry at you and they want to get one over on you by stealing your stuff. Maybe they stained your favorite pair of sweatpants. But most likely, they just can't bear to lose the one thing that reminds them of you. So, you know, take this as a good sign if you want your ex back. And don't bother them about it. And hopefully, this is the most devious secret that your ex is keeping. And hopefully, whatever they kept is replaceable. Alright, and on to secret number three. They're dating again. Now, I know it hasn't been very long, for you at least, but there is still a very good chance that your ex is dating again after the breakup. But honestly, you know, don't despair. Often people will go on a few dates soon after a breakup because they're just, they're just afraid to be alone. And those dates, you know, they usually end in tears or a very short-lived and toxic rebound relationship. If your ex does get into one of these rebounds, it's really only going to push them closer to you in the long run. So, yeah, don't worry if your ex is dating again soon after the breakup. It's most likely a sign that they miss you and they're not handling the breakup very well. Secret number four, they think about you all the time. So you're almost certainly still on your ex's mind all the time now that you're broken up. I mean, of course you are. You know, the two of you had a significant relationship and no matter how bad the breakup was, or maybe because of how bad it was, they most likely can't get you out of their head. The less time has passed since the breakup, really the more likely this is. 
for the first few weeks, you know, it might seem like they can't have a free moment without you popping into their head. And they're also thinking about the breakup, you know, turning it over in their mind over and over again in hopes of finding something that'll make them feel better. They're remembering everything they said and everything you said. And of course, as time passes, this is going to become less intense, but often it's actually going to be more upsetting for your ex. You know, after a few weeks, instead of picturing your face and the time you spent together, they're thinking about how much they miss you and how they messed up their only chance for happiness. You know, they miss your presence and that happiness that you actually brought. Now, these thoughts, they're not always positive, of course. Their feelings towards you are going to be extremely complicated. You know, they care about you and yet they did want to end the relationship. So they're all mixed up right now. And so it's going to be hard for them to think about anything else but you. And really, this is all to say you're not alone. You know, you're not the only one obsessing over the breakup. Your ex is almost exactly in the very same boat. And secret number five is your ex wasn't fully honest when they told you why they wanted to break up. Now, I have covered this in previous videos already, but it is a very, very common thing for an ex to lie about why they wanted to break up. Or at the very least, you know, only tell you part of the truth. You know, most of the time, your ex will give you some, you know, very generic reason as to why they wanted to break up. Things like, you know, I'm too busy with school for a serious relationship, or I need some time to decide what I want, or, you know, we don't have anything in common. And typically, these things will only be a small part of their decision or just a flat out lie. You know, your ex is going to feel like they need to give you some kind of explanation as to why the relationship ended, but they also don't want to hurt your feelings for telling you the whole truth. You know, for example, maybe they're just not as attracted to you anymore because you gained some weight, or maybe they found somebody new that they're falling for. Do you really think that your, your ex is going to tell you that kind of thing, knowing how much it would hurt your feelings? And not to mention, you know, how it's going to make them look to you and to whoever else you tell about the breakup. So instead, they'll come up with some other reason that's less hurtful, like the old classic, you know, it's not you, it's me. So what does this mean for you? Well, it just means that you should be very skeptical about your ex's explanation for the breakup and avoid becoming overly fixated on whatever your ex said was the reason they wanted to end things. Now, if you want to know more about the, the real reason for the breakup, check out another video that I made of mine on this very topic. Uh, just find it in the description below or in the, the little pop-up here in the corner. For now, let's go on to secret number six. A small part of your ex wishes you just go away. Now, as I've already said, you know, your ex's feelings towards you are pretty complicated. You know, they love you, they hate you. They want you, but they want space. You know, it's maddening, it's frustrating. And this is why, you know, a small part of them just wishes you'd disappear. You know, they think it would be easier if you were gone and they just wouldn't have to think about you ever again. Obviously, this isn't a very rational wish. You know, if you just went missing one day, they'd think about you even more and they'd be even more upset. So while it can be hurtful to hear this, know that they don't really mean it. You know, they're just in a lot of turmoil at the moment. And on to secret number seven, which is a bigger part of them, hopes you'd never leave. Now, this one's going to make you feel better. Your ex is terrified that you'll be out of their life forever now that you're broken up. And it is, it's a reasonable concern, right? You know, they won't have your shoulder to cry on anymore. They won't be able to come to you with their problems. And they won't have your comforting presence to ground them. Now, I'm not going to say that they still love you, but there is a huge part of them that still does have positive feelings towards you. You know, they have a million memories with you, and they don't want those to fade away without you around. And of course, let's not forget, they're also probably afraid of change. Secret number eight, they look at you differently now. So when you do talk to your ex, you know, it can sometimes feel like nothing's changed at all. You know, it's like you're right back where you were when you were happy together. But really, on a deeper level, it's pretty clear that everything is different now. Unsurprisingly, breaking up, it changes the relationship you two once had, but more than that, it changes how they look at you. You know, they no longer see you as their partner, their lover, or their soulmate. And on a subconscious level, you know, you're just now a different person to them. Just going through a breakup with you, they've created their own, you know, new ne negative memories that are going to pop back up when they see or talk to you. And since you're not together, you're no longer a source of happiness and love for them either. You know, they can no longer access that part of the relationship because you two can't just pretend like everything is how it was. Instead, you know, thoughts of you fill them with dread, sadness, and, and bad memories sometimes. But don't worry because this really isn't a death sentence. By approaching your ex the right way and with the right strategy, you can avoid evoking these negative feelings and eventually you can remove them entirely and replace them with new associations. And if you can pull this off, they'll be filled with joy whenever they see your face. Secret number nine, is they're not doing as well as they say. You know, yes, you may feel like your ex is doing really well after the breakup. In fact, you know, they might seem like they're even doing better than they were when you were together. So what's their secret? Well, the secret is that they are sad and miserable. They're just putting on a brave face. You know, you may not be able to see it, but that just means that they're a better actor than you actually thought. You know, they don't want the world to see how devastated they were by the breakup, and they really don't want you to see how sad they actually are. 
really, nobody wants to appear weak to the people that they care about. So we all put on a brave face to, to protect ourselves and prevent losing face and, and embarrassing ourselves. Maybe, maybe the world would be a better place if we could all be more vulnerable, but that's just the way it goes. And after all, you're probably doing the exact same thing. All right, and secret number 10 is your ex is scared that you're gonna move on quickly. Now, they'll never admit this, but it's very likely that they don't want you to move on and get over the breakup quickly. Sometimes this is just a subconscious feeling in the back of their mind, but it's natural for most people to want their ex to stick around and, and be available as a backup plan in case they decide that breaking up was, was too painful or was the wrong decision. So if it looks like you're moving on quickly from the breakup, your ex is gonna fear that that backup plan is slipping away and that the breakup might truly be permanent. And as I already mentioned, your ex probably still isn't fully sure that breaking up was the right choice. And this is why it's important to give the impression that you are moving on from the breakup and you're thriving without your ex around. By making your ex think that you're getting over them and quickly moving on with life, they're gonna be under real pressure to decide if they are willing to let you go forever or whether they should take you back while that option is still available to them. And on to secret number 11, your ex feels guilty for hurting you. Now this one is pretty simple. Unless your relationship with this person was so toxic that they truly hate you, your ex will feel bad that they had to hurt your feelings. They know how painful being dumped can be, and they still care about you to some extent, so breaking your heart is gonna make them feel very guilty. In fact, breaking up with you was probably one of the most difficult things they've ever done. And secret number 12 is that, you know, at times, your ex wishes they could have you back. As I've already explained, breaking up is hard for both people involved. Your ex being the one to initiate the breakup doesn't really mean that they're gonna be any less heartbroken than you are. In fact, to be honest, sometimes the heartache can be even worse for the, for the dumper than it is for the person being dumped. And that means your ex isn't gonna have an easy ride after the breakup. You know, they're gonna cry, they'll feel lonely, and they'll miss you like crazy, especially in the first few weeks after breaking up. There will definitely be times where your ex desperately wants to make the pain go away by calling you up and just getting back together. And there will be times when they question their decision to end things, and there'll be times when they want nothing more than to be in your arms again. Now, often your ex will be able to overpower those, those emotions with, with logic. You know, they'll think back to the underlying problems that led back to them wanting to break up in the first place, and they'll resist the urge to call you and take you back by reminding themselves that it was, you know, the right thing to do in the long run. And of course, your ex's friends and family are likely gonna try to talk them out of taking you back, and they're gonna remind them of the reasons they wanted to break up in the first place. And one of the key components of my X Factor program is designed specifically to make your ex forget about those logical reasons for breaking up and miss you so badly, they simply can't help but ask for you to take them back. Now, after this is over, go and watch my full tutorial video at breakupbrad.com to learn these specific techniques that you need to use in order to overcome your ex's logical reasons for the breakup and make them desperate to take you back. Again, you can watch that for free at breakupbrad.com. Now, let's move on to secret 13. Your ex is very curious about what you've been up to since the breakup. So if you take my advice and you employ a period of no contact, then your ex is gonna quickly lose touch with what's happening in your life. They'll know basically nothing about what you've been doing since the breakup, and that's gonna make them very curious. They'll wonder how you're feeling, they'll wonder you know, whether you're starting to move on, and they're gonna wonder whether you've been seeing anyone new. In fact, at some point during no contact, your ex will probably reach out to see how you're doing and ask why you've suddenly stopped, stopped contacting them. They'll also probably stalk you on social media and ask mutual friends about you as well. But the less they know about your life since the breakup, the more curious you're gonna be. They're gonna be, I should say. Now my advice, at least if you're trying to get back together, is to take advantage of your ex's curiosity. Don't give them any details unless you have to. Just keep them guessing. And if you're feeling especially devious, you could even drop hints that suggest you might be dating again. You know, for example, you, you could mention that you, you know, took a friend to dinner last night, but then not tell your ex who the friend was or whether it was actually a date. Really, any sense of mystery and intrigue is gonna help your cause and is gonna give your, reason, your ex a reason to contact you or at least agree to hang out with you in person. Okay, folks, those are the 13 things that your ex doesn't want you to know. Please visit breakupbride.com coaching if you need my personal help getting your ex back or getting over your breakup. My one-on-one -on -one coaching service is way more affordable than you think, I promise, and it will give you ongoing advice to ensure that you maximize your chances of getting back together. Again, you can see my availability, get all the details, and sign up today at breakupbrad.com slash coaching. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for leaving your comments below, and thank you for sharing my videos. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next one.